Welcome. This is a brief video on the simplest way to move your class online, which is to simply scan notes and upload them to Canvas. So we're going to use the files feature of Canvas. Click on files and you'll see uh, a list of files for your course. This is, I'm using my graduate course as an example. I have a few files that I've uploaded already. And I highly recommend that you organize your files into folders uh, with a very small number. It doesn't really matter, but now that we're going to have a lot of classes, it is recommended. So let's create a new folder and we'll uh, name it to indicate that this is the folder for the lecture notes of the week of March 30th. Okay, and then I'll open that folder. And I simply want to upload a file to this folder, which the students will then be able to view. There are many different types of documents you could upload here. I'm going to illustrate this with the scans of handwritten notes. There are several apps you can use to turn your cell phone into a scanner. One of them is called Adobe Scanner. It's, uh, here's the home page. Another one is Cam Scanner. And I'll note here they have an announcement about the corona pandem coronavirus pandemic and some features that they're um, providing. And uh, another one that's been recommended to me is called DocScan. I believe at least the basic versions of each of these three apps is free. I haven't used the second two. Uh, I'm going to illustrate the process using uh, Adobe Scan. Of course, you can also use a conventional document scanner, but if you want to use your cell phone, which is quite convenient, uh, you should download one of these apps. Now I'm going to show you how the process works using Adobe Scan, which saves the files in the Adobe Document Cloud. So let's go look at the cloud. I'll sign in uh, to Adobe Document Cloud, and there I have some files which I have scanned already and uploaded using the, the app. So let's take a look there. So you see that the doc document cloud, it, it's quite a nice website. It has quite a few features uh, towards the top here. You see about um, converting PDFs or compressing them, exporting various things, combining files, number of PDF features, which are quite convenient. And here are the files that I've scanned. And this is the one I scanned today for my class. So let's look at that. So this is just a sample. It's a couple of handwritten notes for my math uh, 636 class. Here they are. And I want to upload this file to Canvas. Well, it's stored in this Adobe document cloud. So the first thing that I need to do is download it to my local disk. So I click download here and it saves it to my disk. And now I go back to uh, Canvas and uh, I'm going to use the file upload feature. So let's get the file. Here it is. I've saved it on my desktop. Uh, let's check. This is the correct file. And we just drag it to this window. And that uploads the file to Canvas and puts it in the folder uh, that I've indicated. So let's check. Let's, uh, let's go back to the top level of my files. Here we see the view of all the files and here's the folder. And in that folder is the scan. And let's check uh, and take a look at the scan. And here it is. So now this is accessible to the students in exactly the same way. They can use the file navigation button to view these scans. Okay, well, in a sense, that's kind of the minimum you need to do to put your class online. I want to show a little bit more than you can do, which is to incorporate these slides in a video. So for that, I'm going to use Zoom. And um, let's just log into Zoom through the University of Maryland. And I'm going to launch a, a Zoom meeting and view these lecture notes. So we'll do, uh, 
host the meeting. And when I launch the meeting, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, record it. So let's join the meeting. And now right down here under more, we click on record on this computer. And then I'm going to share these slides that I have in this other window. So let's click on share and go over here. And let's make it full screen. And so now what I can do is I can walk through the notes and I can record a, a voiceover. The students can attend this live or they can view the recording later. So it's a little bit like a, a, a lecture. And um, this is only two pages, so it's very brief, but uh, it illustrates the idea. And then when you're done, you um, click stop sharing. and you end the meeting. And when you end the meeting, it'll tell you, ask you first if you really want to end the meeting, and then it will tell you that it's saving the recording. Now there's another video that I've made which goes into a little bit more detail on using Zoom together with Canvas. So um, this is just a brief indication of how you would do that, and you can view the other video for more details. Once you've done this, the, you can make the video available to your class and uh, they can watch the video and or just look at the slides uh, directly. That concludes this presentation of one of the basic ways of moving your class online. Let me remind everyone in these days of the coronavirus that the perfect is the enemy of the good. And I encourage everyone to do whatever they need to do to get their class online, not worry how beautiful it looks and maybe over time we'll all learn to become wonderful online teachers.